Nestled against the slopes of the Himalayan mountains, Kashmir is bordered on the west by Pakistan, on the north by China and Tibet, and on the south by India, of which it is a part. This valley, blessed by the gods, is both a land of spiritual richness and intellectual adventure. As if suspended between heaven and earth, Kashmir has long been a land coveted by those familiar with its beauty. Though it lies in the shadows of the Earth's highest mountain range, this region has changed hands many times throughout history. According to legend, in the beginning this area was covered by an enormous lake surrounded by majestic peaks. It was through these crystalline waters that the beautiful goddess Parvati glided in her boat. One day, she left the valley to go see her friend, the god Shiva, in the land of snow. An evil demon leapt at the chance, and soon he had taken the lake for his own. The great wise man Kashapaya called for Parvati to return, and together they chased the demon from their realm. Victorious, they created an immense valley and called it Kashapaya Mir. Srinagar, the happy town of beauty and wisdom, became the capital. Nothing remains of the town originally founded in the year 300 BC by the great Buddhist emperor Ashoka. The city as we know it today dates from the 6th century. The streets and alleyways, which were once a haven of culture and wisdom throughout Asia, are now lined with shops and markets of all kinds. Srinagar was founded along the banks of the Jhelum River. The shores of this meandering river are lined by closely built wooden houses, four or sometimes five stories high, each having its own veranda that overlooks the tranquil waters. Many have a private dock where floating vendors come to sell their wares. Just as the Hindu temples can be recognized by the golden bells on their domes, so too can the Muslim mosques be recognized by the wooden arrow at their summits. The Shah Hamadan Mosque was first built in 1395 on the banks of the Jhelum River. It was named for the holy man that 600 years ago enabled millions of Hindus to peacefully convert to Islam. First Buddhist, then Hindu, the population of the Kashmir Valley is today 90% Muslim. Yet it was the Kashmiri Hindu minority that would give India her first Prime Minister, Pandit Nehru. Entry to the wooden mosque of Shah Hamadan, rebuilt for the last time in 1732, is forbidden to non-Muslims. Those not of the Islamic faith can only admire the exterior walls and ceilings, richly decorated in colorful papier-mâché designs. As in most of the country's mosques, a closed veranda surrounding the central structure is reserved for the Muslim women. The Kashmir Valley is located on the famous Silk Road. The soil and climate make this region a choice spot for the cultivation of mulberry trees, whose leaves are the primary food of the Bombyx caterpillar. Texts as old as the Mahabharata from the year 5 BC mention the existence of Indian silk. <laughs> 